in line with national legislation, integrated arrangements for health and social care have been put in place in South Lanarkshire and across Scotland since the 1st of April 2016. Integration is about local teams of professionals working together alongside partners including unpaid carers, the third sector and the independent sector to support people. South Lanarkshire Health and Care Partnership's vision is clear, working together to improve health and wellbeing in the community, with the community. This film shows integration working in practice, supporting Alan with the range of challenges he has to continue to live as independently as possible in his home, in his community. Well, it's interesting that I need help now because my wife and I, for 20 odd years, ran a dairy rescue service where we employed dairymen and dairy women and sent them out to farms where people were on holiday or uh, had trouble. On one occasion, the farmer fell down and broke his leg. And there was nobody to milk the cows, but uh, I took a dairyman down and we had the cows milk the next morning. We covered the whole of Scotland and uh, Northern England, but like everything else, it came eventually to an end. I've had all sorts of problems. I've got COPD, I've got a, a heart problem. And then when I lost my wife and came here, it was very, very important that I was able to come and live here on my own uh, and be independent because um, that's how life has been for me all the time. Yeah. Quite a mixed neighbourhood, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of elderly folk like me. I won't be a minute then. I'll okay. Just a just the know. benefits of the integrated working are quite immense to the patient because they can have care from a wide range of services which are integrated from one base. We can, as you can see, we can communicate with Alan Fine and we can see, ensure he has the occupational therapy aids he requires for his um, daily living activities, such as shower aids and his walking aids. And the district nursing service can attend to his nursing and medical requirements at home. Partnership with the social care is immense because the carers come in on a daily basis to assist him with his activities of daily living. I think the communication within the GPs and the nursing service have always been good, but now that we have the wider team to support us in caring for the patients, we have regular teleconference calls and our, our MIDAS working system allows us to speak on a daily basis with other colleagues and other services all the time. And social work um, can pick our nursing assessments up and have them ready and read within two, three days and respond immediately. So the workings are immense for the staff as well as the patient. In our job we've got access to like physios and stuff through the um, district nurses and things so that's again um, a very big reassurance especially where service users have come out of hospital because a lot of them have got mobility issues so the physios that are coming in are trying to get them stronger and like, OTs can get involved and give them equipment to help like stand aids to get them more mobile again as I say particularly when they've come out of hospital. When I first came from hospital I had um, a problem with sores and the district nurse came in every day and um, attended to me and then the carers were here when I came back from hospital there was a carer waiting here for me to see me settle in and um, since then the carers have been coming in every morning and I cannot speak highly enough of them. They are literally all my friends. From a home care point of view, um, we go into um, service users on a daily basis in most cases um, and we can quickly notice a deterioration in their um, condition um, and we could quickly flag that up to a district nurse and they can go in and then take prompt action and follow that up. So all that joined up service is very reassuring that everybody's working in the same end goal. I've been in Wishaw Hospital twice, I've been in Kello Hospital three times and been looked after extremely well in both places. But um, being able to be discharged from hospital and come back and live here on my own has been the biggest benefit of all. I think the film with Alan uh, illustrates really well our vision for the future and the way in which we support people who live in South Lanarkshire. 
and I think despite the change in his life circumstances, he has a full life before, and he can see that he can still have a life where he gets a lot of pleasure, but he can live and can live confidently, knowing that he'll receive the support he needs, and remain as independent as he possibly can for as long as he possibly can.